Hi, this is Melanie of Pardesi Reviews, and I'm joined with Kathy of Cinemonda Podcast. Yay! Yay! So uh, last month, we had a great discussion on Kathy's channel, and I talked about all different kind of uh, film suggestions for her. Mm -hmm. um, I had to email her the entire list because I just kept going. <laughs> so <laughs> She's like, I hope you're going to send this to me in an email. I'm not going to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we pointed out uh, since uh, Shah Rukh Khan's uh, comeback to films, Patan, is coming out at the end of January, I suggested two Shah Rukh Khan films that she should check out to kind of get what this whole Shah Rukh mystique is about. Yeah. So first we talked about Om Shanti O, oh, Link in the mm -hmm. Doobly Doo, to uh, see our great <laughs> um, discussion of that. Love Letter to Films by director Farah Khan. Okay. And that was Deepika Purakhan's um, debut uh, film. And so now we're going to talk about KKKG, Kabikushi Kabigam by director Karan Johar. And this is an epic <laughs> mellow, family melodrama film. Okay. Yeah. And so um, while um, Om Shanti Om had an almost endless list of cameos of big stars. Yeah. This is a film where director Karan Johar actually brought in some of the biggest stars in the industry all in one film. Yeah. And we're not, you know, I guess you could say Rani Mukherjee's part is, is a uh, cameo, an extended cameo. But mm -hmm. you've got everyone in major supporting roles, yeah. huge stars. Yes. So it was a huge thing to get all of these people in one movie. Now, this is very different than Om Shanti Om, which Om Shanti Om was a roller coaster ride. It had a lot of fun parts. It had a lot of, it had some deep melodrama, you know, angst. Mm -hmm. But this film... <laughs> like all angst, all angst. And I don't all know angst. how I don't know how many times that I've seen it, but I send a message to Kathy. I'm yeah. like, damn it, it did it to me again. Because I cried at again the, <laughs> at the end of the film, when um, Amitabh and Shah Rukh Khan's character, father and son, mm -hmm. are reconciling, the tear yeah. I didn't just tear up; tears were streaming Aww. down my face. So like cute. it really got me again. And I have seen this movie so many times, but I hadn't watched it all the way through maybe in a few years. So, and this is a film that I sometimes hesitate to recommend to people as a first film yeah, because it's so long, right? Yeah. I mean, it's three yeah. and a half hours long. It's a major investment. Yeah. Here here in the United States, it is playing on Netflix right now, as well as Om Shanti Om. Kind of yeah. sometimes comes in and out of availability. Sometimes yeah. it's on Amazon Prime. Sometimes it's Netflix. Right now it's yeah. Netflix. Okay. But so Karan Johar, the director... Um, he, this, he had done a film called Kuch Kuch Hotahai. And so the love triangle in that film, there was two actresses, Kajal and Rani Mukherjee. And he got those same actresses again to be opposite Shirouk again <laughs> in this film, which is amazing. <laughs> That's really cool. So, and uh, Shirouk's father is played by Amitabh Bachchan. Now, See him so much. Right. Okay. So now Amitabh Bachchan, you have to know, was a huge star in the 70s and 80s. Okay. okay. Like he is literally, he's known as the angry young man. That was kind of <laughs> his signifier. And so he, I mean, he was in Cholet, like some of the Diwar, some of the hugest films of the era. Okay. And he just had this whole mystique. And this was kind of a big deal for him to transition to playing father role. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To to not to to say okay that was this era now I am playing father roles. Like okay? I'm older now. It's like women have to play mothers all of a sudden. They're like what? Yeah. Well, women sometimes have to play mothers when they're only about five years old. Exactly. Their co-stars. Yeah. But... Exactly. <laughs> Okay. We're just before we hit record, we were talking about how men can be sexy when they have gray hair. Okay, Amitabh has still got it. Okay, That's even right. if, even That's if right. he is playing the harsh patriarch of the family, yes. he's still got it. And that voice. He still got it. So that, voice. Voice. that voice is the key. Yeah, really. Okay, is. still don't understand why he numbers his tweets. Still don't get it. What is that? So <laughs> weird. I, it's so, like, I you kind of want to go, old people don't. <laughs> Is, you're not kidding. It's like when they sign, you know, you know yeah. their parents will sign their tweet or their the email. Yeah. It's like, you don't need to sign it. <laughs> I know who you are. 
Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. So cute. <laughs> You're oh. taking up characters by, I mean, he's in the thousands. I don't know if he's like a tweet 5,000, whatever. Like, That's it's so crazy. It's hilarious. It's crazy. Oh. So the name of his, of Amitabh's character is Yash. And the producer of this film is Yash Johar, Karan Johar's father, who's so... In some ways, I think it was modeled after his stern patriarch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it did feel like it was coming from a personal space for sure. So this is Kanye <laughs> Har's autobiography, oh. an, un, un, an unsuitable boy. Okay, so That's there's a, a famous title. a famous Indian novel called A Suitable Boy. So he riffs on that, an That's unsuitable great. boy. That's awesome. I mean, he. You know, I mean, he he does he says it without saying it that he's he's gay. You know, and oh, okay. and he has been such a part of the film industry. His father was a producer for mm -hmm. his entire life. Okay, wow, that's great. So, um, he is now you know the or owner of Dharma Studios, and so the mm. theme song to this movie, you whenever a Dharma movie plays, they play, you know da 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 da, da you know yes, like that yes. that song. It's from this movie because okay. this is his most successful movie, I think, to date, because okay. it was enormous. Okay, when this film came out, we're I mean, still again, watching it. <laughs> all of these people together, I'm sure it's on TV all the time, and, and yep. right, yep. all of these stars together, the soundtrack, the everything like it oh is huge. God. And this basically has funded all of the projects that he was able to do going forward with his Dharma Studios. That's really cool from all the movie that came out. Now, from his autobiography, I learned that he was really insecure when it came out because that was the same year as Lagan okay. was nominated for the Oscars. I'm your kind really? of film. So, you know, like being compared up to this Oscar worthy film. <laughs> but <laughs> but exactly. this this film is one of the like I mean it's just huge. I mean it's like it's called K3G like you just abbreviated everybody knows yep, <laughs> what you're exactly. talking about, right? And um, again, kind of riffing on a previous movie, Kabi Kabi, you know, um, so Kabi means sometimes, and uh, Kabi Nahi means never. So you'll hear some of that oh, in the, the song song lyrics. Right. Um, so <laughs> this film, another uh, Easter egg is the opening scenes, you know, they have, it's all about your parents, right? Right. And there's scenes of Jaya Bachan. Now that is... The woman playing Amitabh's wife, so Shah Rukh Khan's mother in the film, okay. is Amitabh's real life wife. There was another okay. actress that was supposed to play it, and I, I think her husband passed away, or so, there was oh. a death in her family, and so Jaya came in uh, to do this part. And Jaya, she's like one of the main things that I think is incredible. She has a supporting role, and she is such an incredible actress. So oh, good. Um, She's so good. I mean, I'll tell you a story. Like I play, I showed one little clip of her reuniting with Shah Rukh in the second, yeah. you know, half of the film. And I posted that clip on Facebook and I had people messaging me, what is this movie? I have to see that. <laughs> Just exactly. from seeing how she reacted in that one scene to Shah yeah. like she's so compelling. They were like, I, I have to know what this movie is about. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, just her from expression that. was just like, oh, right, right, exactly. Yeah. So she just and I, um, his entry scene, mm -hmm. um, at Diwali, uh, Shah Rukh Khan's entry scene coming off the helicopter and yeah. everything. <laughs> I, I have posted a song reaction to that. You know, sometimes when you watch a movie, you are relating to the heroine, and yeah. my point of that song reaction was, I'm relating to the mother in this scene oh, interesting. because when I did that song reaction was when one of my sons was coming home for Thanksgiving oh. for from college, you know, for the first time. And I'm like, you know, I don't oh. have the tray or whatever, but is I'm, he coming in the helicopter? He did not come in in the helicopter, <laughs> but I had the similar kind of feelings of, yeah. you know, the mother wanting to reunite the whole family for the oh. holiday and just, you so know, cool. having that anticipation and, you know, so, so, I mean, it's That's interesting really cool. when you watch a movie like this at different yeah. times of your life, you could yeah. relate to different characters, right? Totally. So being the age that I am, <laughs> maybe I relate more to, to the mother. Um, so the, they're supposed to be an incredibly wealthy family. Mm -hmm. The mansion that they live in is actually in England. It's Wotaston Manor. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh, those okay. Exterior shots. Wow. Okay. And the um, the helicopter is YR. You know, it's supposed to be for Rush 
recharge the um the family name but it's actually oh. yash raj studios <laughs> so oh that's that, funny it's the studio helicopter <laughs> that's the way you do it right <laughs> That's really funny. So another fun fact, Ronnie Mukherjee, who plays the girl that Amitab, the father, wants Sharuk to marry. Right. Um, she is now married to Aditya Chopra, who owns Yashraj Studios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Who is Here rarely we go photo again. Yeah. <laughs> it's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> so, That's really funny. Okay. So affair. one thing I noticed in watching this again, um, I do not really speak Hindi. But I know enough to recognize if someone is using the more formal mm. op. Mm. Okay. And I noticed in our introduction scene of Sharuk's parents, we see Jaya um, helping him tie his tie. Right. And she uses op when oh, she's okay. addressing him. Like how many decades have they been married? Yeah. And she's still speaking to him formal. in a formal way. He's sort of intimidating, even from the jump. It was like. Oh, yeah. Kind of <laughs> like, I mean, Amitab is the kind of actor that can totally carry that off. Yeah, right? he'd walk in a room and a baby like, "Hi, I'm not worthy." <laughs> right? Like he is. In, in fact, yeah. I think um, Hrithik Roshan. It's been documented that um, the 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 reconciliation scene, the acting between Amitab and Shah Rukh, mm. like Hrithik was supposed to come into that scene and he was so intimidated by how good they were acting. It was like, I, I can't, I can't. He's like, I'm staying, I gotta stay. And, and like they, had, Amitab had to talk to him like, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. He had you'll to do be fine. The, you know, he had to do it the next day. Like, you remember, like he comes in at the end, but like That's he right. was so intimidated seeing mm. Amitab act Maybe. in that scene. Like he just was like, I, I, really I can't. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. So oh, the God, little, in the opening credit scene, we see Jaya with this little boy. That little boy is Aryan Khan, Shahrukh Khan's oldest son. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> so what? his film debut, five oh, years old. <laughs> what is he the one that's in film school in USC? <laughs> he is indeed. Yes, ah, I learned that from the Letterman special. When he, yeah, SRK's yeah. In yeah, fact, I think really he's. Well. I think he's got. He's got greenlit on a on a project. I can't remember if it's for a streaming service oh, or, or what. So interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the daughter. The daughter, was... the daughter wants to act. Of course, um, of course she does. Yeah. Oh, just there was How a, can you not in this family? Okay. <laughs> okay. But I just thought there's another fun fact. There was a gossip item that just came out on Twitter this week that Amitabh's granddaughter, a grandson, is dating Shahrukh Khan's daughter. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> what is happening? It's like film <laughs> dynasty. Give the rest of us some of this. What's up? <laughs> Okay. That's really funny. So, so um, not only did Karen get the same actresses, but he gave them uh, the same name. So it was Rahul and Anjali, <laughs> oh and it's still Rahul and Anjali. <laughs> what? <this> oh my <laughs> god! So that's I don't know so if there's some funny. superstition I with that. that. Or oh what. yeah, maybe that's interesting. That yeah, that could happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I do find the Shava Shava song with at Amitab's birthday party a little cringe. <laughs> Okay. Moment. Moment. Like Amitabh being creepy with all of those dancers that look so like they're creepy. straight out of a Robert Palmer addicted to love video. <laughs> I was like, is this intentionally being creepy? Like I couldn't decide because I'm like, they're kind of setting think, me up I for think, this character. I think it, I think it was like I think it was supposed to be a little bit creepy for laughs, but it, like it looks really cringe right it was now. Like, Dad, sit down, man. You're embarrassing us. <laughs> it was just right. really weird. Right. And then Jaya, the wife coming in like. Uh, no, <laughs> like that's get, out, get out of there. None of this. <laughs> so another fun fact, Farah Khan, who we just talked about as the director yep. of Om Shanti Om, she choreographed this entire ah, uh, That's movie. right, because she's choreographer. Yeah. She's okay. she's the woman. Yeah. That's who you call. Yeah. So <laughs> um, but back to that op thing. Uh, I noted that the first date to the fair that Sharuk's character goes on with Kajal's character. Mm -hmm. She speaks to him using formal language with op, and he immediately okay. stops her and he says, oh, No, that's... you don't need to be that formal with me. Oh, interesting. And, okay. And so, so you know, it's like maybe I would have noticed it another time that I watched it, but I really caught it. Um, this yeah. time it was interesting. Like, no, yeah. that's not, I'm not going to be like my father, I'm not going to do that. 
Oh, that's cute. Okay. So, <laughs> so we already set up as a rebel. Like he's not gonna follow in his father's yeah. footsteps. Okay. Yeah. How about Hrithas? How about Hrithic's glow up from Ladu? <laughs> I know. I love how too they were kind of like, okay, here it is. It was like this big reveal, and you're like, okay, that's pretty good. I can take that. More of that. I know. It's funny because Hrithic was the first actor that I kind of noticed, like ping, you know, when yeah. I started watching I saw War. Um, mm. It has that great helicopter scene that's just oh, yeah. stunning. Oh, and yeah. everyone, he's getting up the helicopter. Everyone in the scene is in love with him, including Tiger yeah. Stroff. They were all like, huh? Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, who is this guy? So now I look for him and things and I see him. And so seeing him in this, I'm like, yes, that's what we want. Because I feel like he's kind of downgrading it a little bit lately with these kind of, you know, roles of being a school teacher. And did it. I'm yeah. like, dude, don't hide your glow. Get out there. And so yeah. it was fun to see a movie where he was still doing that. <laughs> Not only that, but then, right, like Karina Kapoor's whole song, Who is that guy? I know. <laughs> whole song about it. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that opening scene. I know. It's so funny. Uh, and, he, and he comes off like, I did. I sort of had forgotten he was in it. So when it started, I was like, what? And then he was just being kind of a jerk. And I couldn't understand. Why is he being so full of himself? So like, like he's writing home to his mom, like, I'm the shit. And you're just like. I don't understand this character right now. <laughs> then it made sense later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, some of that stuff was a little confusing to me. The the whole, like, why he was even interested in the love interest. Um, What was her name? The the really Poo. snobby one. Pooh. Uh, yeah. Pooh. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't understand why anyone would be attracted to that. Like, I was completely repelled by that character the whole time. Like, no. And then she ended up being cool toward the end. But her intro was just why are you doing this to this woman she's awful okay. so funny funny thing you know they use the song um it's raining men they yeah. use yes. they use that without permission right. and get in oh. trouble later <laughs> it's better to apologize and ask for permission later i know but it was pretty not funny. so much with copyright though <laughs> always ask that's yeah. funny that's right <laughs> But Whoops. yeah, I can't, I don't remember. I mean, this is an, uh, you know, Karina Kapoor, again, all the Kapoor's like, yes. it's very entangled. Um, so, you know, this, it, it, Karin Johar just had a definite idea. I think of one of his good friends that he was kind of modeling her character, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, she wow. definitely has, has this little arc right from the snobby crazy to <sighs> she's wearing the most, sedate conservative saris by the, by the end of the movie you're yeah like, not until she was really trying hard in that little red number to get him to react it was like whoa <laughs> like <laughs> what and he's like nope not gonna do it nope like, oh my God. <laughs> just do it already god <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> i'm going on another date so there <laughs> so funny it made me laugh that was a great costume though she it I mean, well. again, it's like this mix of you have all this heaviness and she mm -hmm. brings in a lot of the comedy, right? Like their, their interaction. And then also Sharuk being the brother-in-law, like, oh, oh my God, are you like, tell your <laughs> sister not to wear that. Like what? I know he <laughs> ended up being kind of the nerd in the whole movie. Like he was kind of like, Ooh. like, oh, you're like terrific at all the fun stuff. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> Mostly, I felt like Sharuk was doing a lot of puppy dog eyes through the whole thing. He's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the scene. My husband happened to be walking through the room. Oh no! The scene <laughs> when he first sees Kajal, you know, and he literally stumbles on the stairs. And Mark's like, you know what? He's Mark. My husband was like, you know, it's funny. There were no fans blowing when we met. Like you're here, I know, right? <laughs> I love that too. Every day I started, like, Whoosh. it was yeah. like that. What they're seeing versus reality. <laughs> That's so funny. Right. I'm mean, like, they don't really have that much um, physical contact except mm -mm. the fantasy song. This is why fantasy right. songs exist, right? Again, yeah. going for that collarbone and the shiru. That's right. That's right. That's where you're allowed. And the mesh see through tops. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now I know why you watch these Indian films. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> now oh. I know it's a shtick. I'm going to be looking for it. <laughs> I mean, this is another incredible soundtrack. Like, there's some iconic songs in yeah. this soundtrack. Um, Shava Shava not being my favorite one. <laughs> but... <laughs> For obvious reasons. 
Um, but I know yeah, we're was, laughing it up a lot, but this movie was very heavy. It wasn't funny. It had a it lot, lot of a funny. It has movie. a lot was, of angst and a lot of heaviness. It was very like yeah, very heavy on the melodrama. Yes, very. you know. And, and I, I also I think, the little kid, the um, the younger version of Hrithik. Uh, Ladu, yeah. The the fat shaming thing was creepy to me a little bit. Like it did right. not it's, age well. Like especially because it was right. coming from Sharuk. He kept going, "Hey, fatty." I'm just like. Well, this doesn't seem right for this character. <laughs> What's happening? But I mean, it may be. Yeah, I agree with you. Like our our sensibilities now. Yeah, yeah it, it's it's pretty cringe right yeah. now. Um, yeah. But I do know that there's still a lot of. I just saw a tweet from from somebody a week or two ago. Like, okay, I'm going home to India. I'm prepping myself for all of the. When are you going to lose weight? And uh, when are you going to lighten your skin? And when are you going to get married? Kind of discussion oh from all the aunties, right? Like, mm. so, but you're right. Here and he's supposed to be this beloved older brother modeling yeah. everything good. And yet he's constant, like, even in their emotional constant. goodbye scene when yeah. he's leaving the family, he's like, and could you lose some weight? Like, that's yeah, one of the, the very whole last things that he says to him. It just really, it was, uh, and yeah. the, the fact that he still loved him so much at the end of yeah. it and i'm like man he was pretty hard on you <laughs> yeah you. yeah it was yeah. really strange but i mean that was just a little i think that's one of those things that you know in hindsight being where we are today hearing that is not cool back then it right. probably would have been like oh yeah whatever haha whatever but now yeah. it's kind of like, and also different um cultural mores about adoption mm -hmm. right like yes, yes here this child had been welcomed mm -hmm. in at only a couple of days old they never talk about yeah um what his background might have been i mean in other films they would have dealt with that right there would have been a whole drama with that it just was an established fact that he had been welcomed in the family but right. then it cut extra deep when the oh. father says you're not my blood that was like the nuclear option you know that he'd been it was one of those things that you, he was only going to use if he really yeah. really wanted to and you knew that was like the first time that, but it was always sort of in the background. Everybody's like, you're not going to say, you're not going to say. So when he did that, I was like, whoa, that was, yeah. that was like, he blew yeah. up that family. That yeah. was like, damn, dude, you brought the big guns for that. Jeez. That was right. Bad. And then, and it was like the egos of both father and mm -hmm. son to yeah. not be able to, um, you know, take that step back towards reconciliation. Yeah. Like it really did take Krithik to make a chance yeah. meeting, um, you know, I mean, here Amitabh's character is Yash is constantly, I want my wife back. Like it yeah. was her birthday or something. Yeah. What do you want? I want my yeah. wife back. Well, yeah. dude, like this is your fault. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, have you even said I'm sorry? Or have you yeah. just said, boss, this is this is yeah. you know, that's You're just it. barking out orders. You're not like making anybody feel better and, about it. Um, you know, just her her sadness, I would just the contrast of the huge family and friends celebration yeah. of the holiday of the opening scenes to it's just the two of them, yeah. you know, later and yeah. hip right. they don't even know if, if Hrithik is going to show up for the holiday or not, right. you know, like yeah. this is their lives have gotten so much smaller yeah. and Amitabh's character doesn't know how to get past his pride and get, yeah. get over it. Right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it was actually kind of brilliant, like just having them chance meet at the yes. mall and, um, you know, just kind of ice, ice break it. Um, chance meet. <laughs> well, yeah. whoops. Look right. at this. But then, but then I knew, I knew, I said, I knew, you know, when you watch it, you're like, I know one of these grandmothers is going to die and that's going to be the real yeah. reconciliation. Yeah, yeah, and that, right. that is what is going to bring Sharuk back is honoring his grandmother for that's her right funeral. yeah because it was like in the mall it was like a cute moment but you could feel there was still the strain but it, it kind of in a way it got you kind of halfway there like a little mm -hmm. bit a little bit um yeah but I, I, mean, I i can't really relate because i did not come from a family that had such a stern patriarch but like i know oh, my goodness I, I know this reality exists, right? And I know fe family estrangement over something like yeah. this of someone marrying the wrong person. And she but was super cool. I loved her. 
she was so fun like i haven't yeah. seen a character like that very often in these films it's like it's fun to see her actually have a personality and she was very funny and she wasn't like this glamorous you know hair blowing like the, you know that she was like this goofy fun relatable person and so i was like i mean yeah, yeah they never no they one. never say the words cast but i do think yeah it was definitely in there. the definitely the socioeconomic yes. differences between them being uber wealthy yeah. to her um, you know, they recreated for the film that, you know, her, her, not slum, but you know what I mean? Lower cat yeah. class yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. Um, shop. Yeah. Right. And so, so, you know, just the gulf that yeah. the father can't see how, you know, we're not, you're not marrying someone from down uh, there. There's no way. You no, know? I remember there was the scene now I'm trying to remember what he said, but where the wife and, and, um, his wife and he were there, you didn't see any tension at this point. So when he, and you feel like they've always kind of on equal footing, but when he kind of puts down his his foot, like it's the patriarch, and she mm -hmm. kind of was like, "Ha ha!" You went, and he goes, Bleh! and she kind of went, like, "What? Yeah, like, is right. this what this is right now?" Like, there right. were there were moments where he crossed that line and redefined everyone's relationships. Right. Was she was really like, powerful. "Oh, that's you know, yeah, it's like, yeah, we had an arranged marriage, but yeah. that's not the way things are today." And then and he's like, "All right." He's like, "Yes, it is. I will and choose my sons. Went, I will choose my sons, my daughter in laws." And she's like, "What?" <laughs> and then she also realized she had no power all of a sudden. Like you could see it kind of fall yeah. out of her. And again, and a good scene. Again, Jaya, like, like, I, <sighs> that's like, such a great scene. I still remember. I get kind of goosebumps when I think about it because, you know, we've all had that moment where someone speaks some kind of weird truth that you're like, wait, is that what you think? Really? Like, yeah. You could see that happen to her. And she was kind of like, oh my God, he's going to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was really sad. Right. And it's like they've been this happy family up yeah. until, OK, now we're hitting our first speed bump and and yeah. this is what's going to. Yeah. Yeah. All I mean, of a sudden, oh, you're just going to be the patriarch. No one else has a say. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> OK. I mean, I, I'm in an interfaith marriage. My my father was actually besides being a college professor, he was a minister and mm. I married a Jewish guy mm. like that could have been. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, in other families, yeah. uh, something where no one would speak to each other again or That's anything right. like that. It it was fine, but you know, you, you can. That still can happen today. It's not like oh, that was then. Oh, no, it, it happens. happens now. Absolutely, things yeah. like that still happen. All the time, right? Yeah. And you can still have yeah. patriarchs who are so have everyone in their family under their thumb. It's totally totally realistic. And yeah. as we said earlier, like. Amitab, like this, the way he plays that reconciliation scene, like he has that mm. stature and gravitas mm -hmm. to carry, like you feel like he definitely had control of this family for all, you know, and yeah. then to see him turn around and the tears. Oh my, no, wow. So like, you know, I mean, it just, it's such a powerful scene. Again, that was the one that hit me. Oh, I know. <laughs> like, it was so, and just to see him kind of like, finally just let the guard down, just to let it all slip finally. And you knew that he didn't want, like he felt like his strength is in holding this conviction that he knew was wrong technically, but he felt like he couldn't admit he was wrong. So he's like, ah. yeah. so when this happened, you kind of, where he finally just caved to the fact that I was, mean, like, he was oh, like, I like, want him back. He was like, you never came back. You know, I know. I love like, how he blamed him. That was super passive was like, aggressive. He was like, he's like, I hurt you so much. You never turned around. You never came back. Exactly. Like, it's like he'd always expected. I could say whatever the, the heck yeah. I want yep. because they'll always come back the next day. Yeah. This is not all his real, fault. Not realizing, you know, you can stick in the knife so deep that that's yeah. it. It's right. Like you have like repercussions 10, sometimes. 10 years of that. Um, so I, I just. It's a it's a movie that, while some elements are cringe and whatever, like it's still amazing. I think at the time mm -hmm. it was one of the biggest uh, money maker films you can wow. imagine. Like again, mm -hmm. you know, you like you're a fan of Amitab, the older generation, and Ajay, yeah. you go for the older generation. You like yeah. the younger generation. You know, there's all these great songs. Oh my yeah. god, the costumes. Yeah. <sighs> They spanned <laughs> decades of like entertainment. <laughs> I mean, like it's so interesting. Much. We're we're we were seeing two films, and there's mm -hmm. two films with Shahrukh getting caught on someone's um, oh, sorry or or bracelet, right? Like nice two different one. scenes. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, is that how this works? I go, Whoops. Oh, well, that's what it's a way to get two almost strangers. Yes, that's right. Really close, face to face. Right. We're gonna have to touch hands almost, we too. Right. <laughs> right. So funny. 
I, I do think Kajal was so great. Like you said, she's such a great character. She's so mm -hmm. full of life. Yeah. And that's what that's what is Sherwood's character is attracted to yeah. of, of, you know, oh my God, like I've lived in this museum yeah. pretty much, right? Yeah. Like yep. that set direction. It's like a museum. Yeah. And 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 here's this woman that's this girl that's full of life. Yeah. And you can just see though how he can unsettle her. Like I love yeah. the way that she plays it. Like yes. I've never felt this before. She's oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, but you know, I liked it because so many women, and it, it's not even just this movie, so many movies where women are just this object of desire, super generic. You know, even the one they want to set them up with, eh, fine, you know, whatever. But she could have been a face in like 10 women. You didn't even know the difference. The one he fell in love with, someone who, who stood out. She was right. different. She wasn't like everyone else. And that's why I liked her so much too, because I'm like, she's not just this lineup of generic whatever. So right. she, she could see her charm and why he was charmed. And he probably thought, Hey, I was raised to follow my you know, my instincts and my and my desires and well, no, I guess not. <laughs> no. Well, and also, I mean, you can see in another world if he hadn't met Anjali, mm -hmm. if he hadn't met Kajal's yeah. character, yep, he did have that closeness. You could see mm -hmm. he had that bond with Rani Mukherjee's uh, right. character, right? Yeah. Like he he did have this special relationship with yeah. her. It obviously been a part because he'd been at school. How many other romances have we seen like that? Like yeah, you know, childhood right. friend, childhood friends to yeah. you know something more. Um, that's right. You know, so it could have happened that way, that's right. except he met Anjali. Yeah. So exactly. um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was kismet. <laughs> so evidently that house the the interior sets that they built like they borrowed famous paintings from people and whatever to put so up funny. in that house to make it that. authentically <laughs> super wealthy <laughs> like you know like things that i wouldn't like over my head you know, know. but it just it just but it definitely had this like museum yes. quality to it right like this yeah. coldness and then Very you contrast stodgy. Like when he visits her neighborhood and it's so full of life and yes. people celebrating Joy. holidays and just, yeah, mm -hmm. everything, you know, so. I wanted to be there. I mean, yeah, it was her house, right. I'm sure. But if, like you said, it felt like you're just in this mausoleum and get out of here and just go where there's people living and having fun and you could see right. the appeal to it. It was really sweet. Again, I saw this movie very early on and I remember kind of pausing because <laughs> you know, laugh is so early in my journey, like. Um, the, the nanny character for right. the wealthy family who mm -hmm. has, uh, um, Kajal's, uh, Muslim best friend, you know, you know, right. the daughter. Oh yeah. Like, right. Cause right. she's calling her auntie. Like I yeah. was like, at first I'm like, wait, are they cousins? Like, I, yeah, I, I was really confused by that too. At first, <laughs> when I, like, I, didn't watching these, I'm I, like, I didn't get it. I mean, it's like yeah. anyone that's an older family friend is an right. auntie. But right. I didn't, I was like, wait, what? Like, it took me a minute. I'm like, are they cousins? I'm like, wait, she seems. I know. It's like, it doesn't Hindu, seem like that. But the, her friend is, is Muslim. Like, <laughs> I know. I was getting the, the vernacular figured out. It took me a little while, too. I was like, so he, wait, she's his sister? Like, no, no, it's not. Not the sister. <laughs> Definitely not the sister. No. Right. <laughs> so. And how much, how much did you laugh when Hrithik arrives in London and he goes to an internet cafe and types in, findafriend.com. Oh, I know. That was so funny. It's like, is that how easy it is? <laughs> Look, I found a friend. That was funny. Pre-Facebook days when I was just laughing. It was like that clunky early 2000s. Oh, I know. It was computer. so ugly. And oh my God, the computer was so ancient looking. Oh my God, it was so funny. I know. I love seeing old movies with their old tech. It was like, oh God, find a friend. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> but oh the, the sweater game, oh my God. Oh my God, the sweaters in this movie. The sweaters, <laughs> the so men's good. sweaters. So many. Well, I was looking at pictures too. Like when you look for pictures from this, you see all the like the costumes are like, man, that's a cool sweater. Oh look, there that that one's really good. Like they're all just like doing these. Like I love that bright red one. Oh man, so good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Or and then like horrific when he first gets in London, I think it's mm -hmm. the first music number, and he has one that has like this interesting slit across his chest, and then it's like a <laughs> peekaboo orange, and then you're like, move again, let me see that. Hold on, I need to rewind. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god! It um, almost felt like they built that sweater for him. Like it wasn't yeah. even like a sweater off the rack or anything. It was like they made that for him. They made uh, that for us. Somebody, they did that for somebody, us. Yeah, they did that for us again. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Objectifying the men again. There we go. Oh, gosh. I mean, 
Uh, Sharuk is a good dancer, but Hrithik is one of the oh. top. He is one of the top dancers in all of Bollywood. And it this makes it movie, look effortless. Exactly. Like, it's exactly. Just, I mean, yeah. it's like breathing. Like, just he, just the way... Yeah, and that, that whole song sequence is just an example. Like, so just... Uh, I, I always like now spotting all the, like, the backup dancers and whatever. And it's like, okay, they were in London, so they've got all the white backup dancers yeah, exactly. and all these things, you know. <laughs> That's yeah, so and cool. you could just see these are obviously probably professional mm -hmm. dancers that yeah. be behind him, and then mm -hmm. Hrithik is just outshining. Everyone. Oh my god, so much! And I like I always like to refer to him as like this relaxed precision because he has this sort of, he's sort of slouchy, but everything's yeah. super specific. So even though he's dancing, it looks like he's just having a good time, not even thinking about it. I'm just sort of just hanging out, and it's just right. like so stunning. I just love his just relaxed weirdness like even that alcoholia song <laughs> the bit huh? yeah that was yeah. so first of all it looked like him making fun of himself but yeah. he makes it look so fun and easy and then you're like you try and emulate it and it doesn't sound weird <laughs> well and then again that's what's so amazing about this film is having all of these actors dancing some of these big numbers yeah. all together like yeah. that was you know that mm -hmm. was something to really see like yeah. it's Sharuk and Hrithik together yeah. that was insane <laughs> that was like whoa okay heavy duty that was good even though you know again they're both good dancers but different very different very style. different styles very, yes, different, very styles. different style I mean I, to me what do you when you watch Sharuk he, he you can tell he's trying to hit the moves and he does I mean it's but you feel like he's thinking about it he's doing it and he's making these moves happen whereas Hrithik's like he's just yeah. riffing and it's easy right. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, but i like seeing those two styles together because you really appreciate both of them on a different level so i thought that was so really fun. this is you know is this your first karen johar film the director yes okay yes. so uh, you know i'm not going to say every film is just like this because it's not but <laughs> it is heavy on the melodrama okay fashion like you wouldn't believe i was laughing so how the little kid ladu was wearing the gap sweatshirt i'm like yeah. oh yeah so funny. <laughs> so you know, definitely. I mean, again, for DDLJ, um, Karen Johar co wrote mm. the script okay. and um, bought Sharuk's um, Harley Davidson iconic leather jacket for oh, a part. So, great. like, he always, it's it's not just, you know, directing the film and writing mm. the emotions and all, but it's right. for him, it's also all about the look. Mm -hmm. right and yeah. very high fashion and like he could have set this movie in america you know yeah. this the second half they could have That's gone right. anywhere he's like well i like london so we'll go to london you know, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're doing london people <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah it's funny um but you know karen johart just has an aesthetic and this is definitely you know i kind of <laughs> you know i kind of the iconic you, so know, you have like to give I me said, more homework you gotta give me two more well, Next, Kuz, yeah, well, time I think does well. <laughs> yeah, so so I'm not saying we have to watch more Sharuk right away, but um, again, Karen Johar has worked with Sharuk many okay. times, right? And um, one the first film was Kuch Kuch Hotahai. Um, again, same actresses who are both okay. lovely, yes. and um, uh, you know, it's set at a high school, and then there's an age difference, and then. Um, Sharuk's young daughter brings him together with uh, <laughs> Anjali. Exactly. So, so um, at a summer camp. <laughs> oh, no, no. Summer camp. So, um, but Karen Johar, like I said, because of the success of this movie, and how crazy successful this was, he created, you know, Dharma Studios. You know, his mm. father was a producer, but now. He has a whole empire uh, right. partially based on the success of this film. And Karen is known also for launching people. So mm. um, launching young actors, um, you know, student of the year was one uh, movie that, you know, was a Karen Johar again, everyone in the height of fashion and, and mm. whatever. And that launched um, Varun Dewan and, um, you know, Siddharth Malhotra. So, you know, it's like he, Star maker. He, he is a star maker. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, this director, um, have you heard of Coffee with Karen? I have heard of that. Okay. <laughs> so I haven't seen I, I haven't seen it, I don't think, but I've heard of it. <laughs> it is on um his latest season is on, I think it's Hulu in the um in the United States. Right. And he has this gossipy 
a chat show. Um, he doesn't do it all the time, but he had a recent season. He brings on two actors um, and he makes them compete in games like <laughs> rank these five actors or rank these five actresses. Like he forces, Oh man. Yeah. That's he forced funny. and and because these are the people that he socializes with, he kind of gets them to say things on camera that maybe they don't even realize. And so there's been epic oh, <laughs> down. Oh, epic no. epic things that have happened on coffee with karen coffee with That's a k true. coffee with karen oh yeah i found it coffee with karen okay uh, yeah and so yeah i mean there's a whole past history of that <laughs> so very gossipy and um like i said makes them you know makes them play games and like i love that you know phone a friend like who can you get on the phone famous people <laughs> like <laughs> like a jimmy kimmel yeah uh, like you know, how many, how many weird stunts <laughs> Makes these, yeah, makes them do weird stunts. Like, how many famous people can you get on the phone? And they have to say, hello, Karen, you know, That's so funny. Very and so, cute. And so he gives them this huge hamper of goodies. And the way these people compete, because they really, I mean, I don't know if they're filled with iPads or what, but they just. Oh, my God. They, I want that. <laughs> the hamper the hamper is That's epic like the way that they come oh these actors God. and actresses will compete for the hamper <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch that okay i got it on my list <laughs> so it is it is fun and it's like like i said it's not on every year there's been hiatus of it or whatever but um it's <laughs> it's been That's his, hilarious that's part of his whole his whole thing Okay, so, but yeah, he, he definitely has a certain kind of movie and then and i you know what it's like i sometimes I want this melodrama. Like I want yeah, a movie yeah. that's going to make me cry. Right. Like, juicy, juicy gossip, you know, and just <laughs> uh, like all the emotions hanging out. Right. Yeah, like, I yeah. mean, this one, it doesn't have as much humor mm -hmm. as Om Shanti Om, for instance, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How did you, how did you like it? I mean, I, between the two, you said Om Shanti Om was more your favorite. I, I think I liked I mean, just as a, a a jumping off point, I thought that um, Om Shanti Om was overly like more entertaining. And I again, I'm just sort of a sucker for the filmmaking mm -hmm. uh, kind of angle that it had, and the sort of meta aspect of the filmmaking, and how he's a big actor and then he becomes a big actor, and he's sort of playing right. off himself. I love that. And then with this one, I felt like. I love the performances. I loved a lot of it. A lot of it was just, it was just kind of painful uh, overall, a lot of painful scenes and on purpose, not, yeah. but impressive in that sort of way of like, I know it's good for me, but it's not as much fun as the other movie, but yeah. I really, I mean, I love the performances, so I'm not saying I didn't like it, but overall, I think that the fatty thing was a little problematic, um, mm -hmm. but there were some, but again, that's not necessarily unrealistic either. I mean, that stuff's going on right. and maybe that's good to see that too. But yeah, and I love seeing Rithik Rush on and and Saru yeah. in, in the same movie, and of course that was great too. And it had, but the I felt like the humor kind of fell a little flat when they tried to be funny because it just didn't feel like that kind of movie, even though I know they needed it. But I still would would recommend it because again, my God, the cast was so great. Um, when they were doing their dramatic interactions, they really landed it. It was just felt very authentic, even when it was overwrought and like it feel yeah. like it'd be overkill. Everyone is crying, literally everyone. It worked somehow. It so it still works. It's like was kind it's of cranked. Magical. It's cranked up to eleven, and it yet, really and yet, it's yeah, it still works. It works yeah. on me. It's oh, not. Yeah. It's not to everyone's taste because a lot of people think it's just too much. It's too much of the it mellow, is a lot. melodrama. But you know, yeah. I like it. I you know, I like I, it. I like it. And um, again, like when you have someone of Karen Johar's stature who yeah. can bring all of these people together in yeah. one movie you know that's, that's right really, uh, yeah. i mean we know in, in hollywood it's not that common either right to get no something like an oceans 11 or whatever is a rarity when you get big stars mm -hmm. all in the same movie together normally yeah. you get one right <laughs> you, know? you need somebody like you know shrook who couldn't who can bring in it corral on a lot of people that trust him whereas i think if you have george clooney he's like the shrook of america where if he's involved, everyone loves him. Everyone right. will do something for him. So and they know, and they know he's going to be fun on set. Yes, and he's, he's going to be fun. fun. He's going to he be... might do a practical joke on you, but right. Be fun. 
and he and he will give you room like a lot of actors then feel like someone's going to take over and they're not going to get to have their moment and you know you have a lot of big actors how are you going to find any space in this movie and i think when you have people like you know Sharuk or, or george clooney you know that they're going to give you that so right there's I, a trust a really factor point. yeah so i think, I think that's, that's a really a good bit. point i think Sharuk definitely he's not like this whole movie has to be all about me right right yes like and, you said, he puts other people ahead of him in the credits sometimes. And he, right. he always calls people out, which is great. He was a very generous um, performer and actor, which is rare. That's why everyone's suspicious of big, you know, star-studded things, because most people are not generous like that. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, I, Karen Johar has not made, um, you know, a lot of films, but he has had a hand as an executive producer, as a producer in quite a few films. And like I said, he's known as a star maker yeah. um, and, and for launching people in the industry, yeah. even if it's, you know, somebody who is part of a filmy family, I think a filmy right. family trusts Karen to be the one to launch right. their kid um, because yeah. they know it's going to be a high quality production. Exactly. And, um, you know, he does, he knows, he knows, okay, I need this kind of song in this movie. You know, like he, he knows how to pull all the elements together that you need to have, you know, a big movie like this. Exactly. So, yeah. so yeah. And, and it shows, I mean, you could tell everybody was into it. Everyone trusts each other. There was a lot of love in that, that set. You can just feel it. There's a lot of trust in how the melodrama is going to play out and just, you know, and I, I really appreciate it for that, but that this is just a personal taste. It's not even about no, whether which totally movie is better. It's like, no, totally I just had more it. fun with the first right. one. That doesn't mean this wasn't a great movie, though. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what I was thinking is, when has a Bollywood, and, I mean, again, you're coming to it new and seeing yep. some of these old phones. Yep. And I've been watching, I don't know what it is, seven or eight years now. <laughs> and it's like, I haven't um, had this kind of feeling in a Bollywood movie uh, in see, recent important. times. You know, like... Um, you know, you think about RRR, that was like the bromance. Mm -hmm. Like, I still feel yeah. like uh, Southern films are still putting their heart on their sleeves like yeah. that. Yeah. And and maybe Hindi films are playing more for the highbrow or the multiplex or whatever, or yeah, yeah, audience, definitely. and they're not um, hitting me in the feels yeah. necessarily in the same way. Now, I'm not expecting that from Patan. You know, mm. that's going to be a big action movie. I'm not necessarily expecting yeah. Uh, you know, melodrama like this, but yeah, I'm just saying, feels. I'm just saying like, <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes I think Bollywood should look back instead of saying, Oh yeah, that was back then. We don't do yeah. that anymore. Well, okay. This is one of the bit most successful Hindi films of all time yeah. <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> right? Exactly. Like, I mean, maybe and this is a movie yeah, that people want to watch over and over and over right. again. That's right. And you know, when I think of Hindi now, I think of these big, Bambos, you know, bombastic films where they're taking the little films that had more heart and then remaking them with tons, tons of stunts and big stars and effects, but they're kind of losing the heart in the process. And I, I, I would like to see them do that too, scale it back, still give it a big budget, but just bring it back some emotion and heart again, you know. Right. There so, probably I mean, are the Hindi ones that have it, but yeah, this this definitely yeah. was like stood apart with that for sure. Yeah. 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 Didn't expect so. that. All right. Well, Kathy, I hope we do more of these because I this is just so fun. Uh, so fun. I love discovering these movies with you and I, I get to hear about them later. And I feel like I'm just like, ah, oh, now I really appreciate them. Well, I mean, I had some people who were mentors for me who kind of clued me in. Well, this is special because of this or that or this is, right. you know, this particular director and this is his style or whatever. Or yeah. Farrakhan, you know. Uh, yeah. there's things that are, um, special about these directors yeah. and, um, I love both of their movies. I, Farrakhan yeah. made three movies. She, she made happy new year, which was again with Sharuk, <laughs> you know, <laughs> after this. and, you know, I think she has been doing other things, but it's like, come on, Farrah, come back. And, oh. and, you know, and, and, uh, Karen Johar has been busy producing and helping other young filmmakers get a get their start hey that's all great but like yeah. i'd like to see um karen johar was going to do a big historical epic and i think mm. because of the pandemic that got shelved so i don't know mm. what project he might have for us coming next What's but it? you know I, it's an automatic <laughs> ticket buy for me to go to a karen johan mm. film because it's going to be an event it's going to be right. something no matter what it something. is it's going to be an event <laughs> <It's gonna laughs> so. <be> something. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Thanks, Thank Kathy, for Thank joining you. me to talk about and, and my love of Shah Rukh Khan. Yes. Give <laughs> you more homework and we'll do more. All right. Absolutely. Yay. I would love to have you on again and we do love uh, more films. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Thanks bye. again. Check out Kathy on Cinemando <laughs> Podcast.